That looks pretty. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name's Shayla, if this is your first time tuning in. And I'm so excited to say that the restock of the Maybelline Time Shayla City Mini Palette and the Big Shot Mascaras is finally back. You guys can get it on Maybelline.com, Ulta.com. And in this tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to achieve this look, which I like it. It's real pretty, it's real cute. It's like a gold, purple, smoky eye. A lot of you were asking me to do another look with the City Mini palette because the other one was kind of like natural, no lashes. Um, and this one, I was like, let's do a little drama. Well, this is drama for me. You know, I don't go too crazy anymore. I'm all about like pretty, like, you know, glam. Isn't that cute though? Look at that. Ooh. Ooh. You know, it's cute when you got both hands up like this, like, oh, oh, that's cute. Ooh. There it is right there. Ooh. <laughs> Most of you guys know that with the City Mini Palette, you can get your everyday look. You can get a look with a little bit of color, purple, you know, that's my favorite color. And then you can also add the black to make it more dramatic, which is, I mean, these are, this is it. You know, I've told you guys this like a million times. I'm like, these are my colors. This is what I wear. When you wear the palette, you guys get a little piece of me with you, so. I'm doing a full face for you guys from foundation, brows, everything. So you guys can see how I achieve this look. I really like it. I'm like, I need to do dramatic. Every time I do a dramatic look, you guys, I'm like, okay, I need to do more drama. I need to do more dramatic looks, you know? But then I'm in, always in a rush and it doesn't happen. Oh my God, this highlight. Oh my God. Ooh. Okay, let me stop looking at myself in the monitor and let's just... Let's start the tutorial already. I'm gonna start with the Becca Cosmetics Velvet Blurring Primer. This primer really does kind of give your skin a little bit of like a diffused look, which is why I've been using it recently. I still think that the Tarte Cosmetics is a little more mattifying. That's like my go-to primer, but this definitely has like a, gives your skin a little bit of a filter, if you will. This is Bobbi Brown Foundation 6.25. Depending on the time of year, I could be 6.25, I could be 6.5. Depends on if I have a tan or not. I'm going to Puerto Rico next week. Well, in a couple weeks for my birthday. Virgo. Virgo. And I'm sure I'll probably be like 6.5 by the time I get back. Also, I'm using the Smashbox Powder Foundation Brush. My go-to favorite concealer right now is the MAC Pro Longwear in NC45. With this look, because it's gonna be a little bit more dramatic, I want more coverage under my eyes, which is why I'm using this instead of like the Black Opal or any of the other concealers that I use. But this is like ride or die for me. I usually just apply one pump to both eyes. If I had like a long night, <laughs> I'll do two pumps. But a little bit of this goes a long way. I don't know why I just put concealer on my eye, but hey. Hey. You always want to apply a little bit of concealer on your nose to highlight it, which naturally contours. Anytime you highlight something, it'll kind of naturally contour. You know what I mean? So like when you highlight the center of your nose, it's gonna create a little bit of like a contoured effect. Same with the cheeks, like I'm concealing slash highlighting with this light color. And if I put a little bit under my cheek here, you can see it adds like a natural little contour there. I've been using the Sasha Cosmetics Buttercup Powder for the past two weeks, you guys. This, the, <laughs> So good. Honestly, you guys, it's such a great powder. I find that I don't have to use my darker Laura Mercier powder with it. It's just a really nice setting powder that isn't too dark, it's not too light, gives you a nice golden tone. See how it just set the makeup? I really like it. I'm using a Sigma F30 brush, which you guys know, I like using this brush or I'll use the Japanese powder brush. I kind of just switch. Um, I have all my brushes next to me here and I just kind of grabbed it. I was like, oh, we'll just do, do this today. Ooh, that looks nice. 
nice and matte. I'm definitely gonna add bronzer though because yeah. I'm still using my Guerlain bronzer. This is number 07, look at it. They reformulated this bronzer and they made this color lighter. They like changed all the colors so they tell me 05 is just like 07, but it's slightly different. So I'm just going to use this until <laughs> I find something else. See how it has like a nice warmth to it? Also, the Sasha bronzer is really good. It has a little bit of a shimmer, which is why I didn't decide to put it on because I need something right now that is um, going to add a little bit of color because, I don't know, I just feel like I don't look as tan as I usually do. At some point in the past couple weeks, I feel like my brows have just like plotted against me. They're slowly starting to just do their own thing. It's okay, sisters, not twins, right? One of my favorite eyeshadow bases, this is the Fix eyeshadow base from Urban Decay. And I'm using my Makeup Forever brush to just kind of blend it all over. You can use a concealer, to be honest with you. There have been a couple times that I filmed and I just used a concealer and I was like, oh, it's fine, you know? Something about, I think, the brightness of the base, you know, is what I like. It makes the shadow stand out, but you could definitely use a concealer. My palette doesn't come with a lighter transition color, even though you could use the darker shade here. You could definitely use that, but I'm gonna use the Karen ColourPop Freckles this one right here, I'm gonna use this as my first transition color. Just cause I always like to do that. I just like to have a, a brown that's my skin tone in the crease. It helps me blend, you know? I have like so many transition colors that I love, which is why I didn't put it in the palette. I think we all have that transition color we love. This is a Sigma E40 brush and I'm just going to apply freckles in the crease. All right, this is where the fun begins. I'm gonna apply first this brown shade in the crease and then the black. Yes, we're going smoky. You guys have been asking for a smoky eye using this palette, so I'm gonna deliver. Right, I need to stop saying using this palette, using my palette. Now I'm gonna go in with that black and that same Sigma brush in the crease. That's sometimes my problem. One side will be a little darker than the other. I'm really focusing this color right in the deepest part of my crease. I don't wanna bring it up way too high and then it's just too dramatic. My eyes are already big, so I just don't wanna make them like, Arr! you know? I don't want them to look crazy big. Back in the day, you guys, I used to like blend shadow like all the way up to here. Remember those days? I'm gonna add more of the eyeshadow base just on the lid because I want the eyeshadows to really stand out. I typically don't do this, you know? But why not? Why not? This also helps kind of carve out the crease. You know, it creates that line separating the lid and the crease. Somebody in like one of my comments was like, yes, we know what you're saying. I was like, damn, why are you so mad though? Yeah, we know what you're saying. Whoa. <laughs> I'm like debating right now if I should just do plum all over the lid and make it dark and dramatic that way, or if I should add a little bit of gold. I think in the last video I did using my palette, we put gold in the middle here which I really did like, like I loved it. We did top and bottom, so maybe today I'll just do top. So I'm gonna do this gold on the inner lid and then the purple on the outer lid. The same brush, y'all, that I used for the eyeshadow base, just flipping it over and using 
the same brush. I don't like using like five brushes for my lid. I don't. I'm like, we could use the same one. It's fine. I'm just going to wipe off the brush a little bit because we're recycling using the same brush. Why not? Not trying to clean 50 brushes. Look at that pigment. These are kind of like Laker colors, huh? Anytime you do like a split lid like this where you have two colors on the lid, just overlap them. Or I should say overlap the second color so it blends right in. I'm lining my eyes with the Inglot 77 eyeliner and the Smith 205 brush. Let's wing it. I'm going to wing the eyeliner. Why not? You guys see that? Just draw that line right out there and then connect it to the liner. Whenever I wing my eyeliner, I kind of like to start off thin and then make it thicker. It's easier to add than to try and take away, you know? The bottom, you can see there's like a little spot right there that isn't quite as straight as I want, which is fine because I'm gonna smudge my bottom lash line anyway, so it'll be okay. It's okay. I'm also gonna line my waterline with the black eyeliner. Um, this is a cream, you guys, so just be careful. Test your sensitivity first, so maybe try like on the outside, like maybe try like a little spot, you know, make sure you're not sensitive to the cream in the waterline. Some people are. If you wear contacts, it may not be the best idea. Maybe use a pencil. But I'm just lining the waterline and a little bit under the lash line. That black eyeliner really makes a purple pop, huh? You guys already know I'm using the same brush. So I'm just kind of wiping off a little bit of the cream product. I might always do this. It doesn't ever seem to like disrupt the shadow, but I'm gonna use the same brush I used for my eyeliner for the black shadow that we put in the crease. I'm just gonna set the cream black eyeliner that I just applied with this powder so it doesn't smudge or move. Sometimes with these creamy eyeliners, they'll do that. They'll just be way down here, you know? Now I'm gonna smudge the black eyeliner that I just applied with the Makeup Forever 216, I believe the brush is. It's like a bullet brush. So just barely dip your brush into the City Mini palette and smudge it. This will give like that smoked out effect. I actually think I smoked out this side a little bit more. I kind of want my crease to be a slightly darker. So I'm just gonna go on with that same bullet brush that I smudged underneath my lash line with the same black eyeshadow. This one right, chaw. Tap off the excess and I'm gonna apply a little bit more in the crease. Really just focus right in the crease here to make it a little bit darker. Mm. Mm. I'm gonna do lashes with this look because you guys know I'm obsessed with lashes, but before I do that, I'm gonna use the Baddest Black Big Shot Mascara. The Baddest Black has the black writing on it, whereas the original has the purple writing, just in case you guys were like wondering which one you got. Just make sure if you wanna get the dark black that it has the black writing on it. And you will see a big difference in how dark it is. Ooh, look at those lashes. Hmm. Like why can't my bottom lashes and my top lashes just be like the same, you know? Like my bottom lashes should be the shorter ones. Not my top lashes. It just makes no sense. Finishing off the eye look with Lily Lashes in Miami. I use a glue called the Callus Glue that you can actually get um, on Amazon. I feel like you could get anything on Amazon, right? Am I right? I'm gonna highlight with the Master Chrome Highlighter. Look how, ooh, blinding. It's blinding. Ooh. This is a Dosa Colors Fan Brush. Mm. See that magic happening there? Oh. I've been doing this a lot lately, just using my finger for my uh, nose highlight. 
it's like a little bit more blended looking, I feel like. I gotta go somewhere now, shoot, where am I going? My favorite blush, Sweetest Cocoa. Oh my gosh, the perfect like neutral brownie color for me, I love it. It kind of has like a pinkyish tone too. It's just perfect. It gives me like a nice contoured look whenever I use it. Max Sweetest Cocoa. Oh, I'm using the Smashbox Angled Brush, by the way. We're gonna finish off the look with MAC. I know. I know you guys, don't kill me. I use it all the time. It's like, it's my go-to, you know? Until I find something better, this is like my nude, you know? MAC Cork Lip Liner. Desi and Katie's No Shade. With this, because it's lighter, I'm just gonna like blot it on. Like you don't need to use a lot, you know? Ooh, and my favorite, ah, over the top lip gloss. Yes. Thank you guys for watching my tutorial using my Maybelline Time Shayla City Mini Palette. It's available now at Maybelline.com and Ulta.com. You will also see it in your nearest drugstore, which is still like, I just can't wait to walk into CVS or Ulta or anywhere and see see it on shelves. That's really exciting for me. Thank you guys for all your support. Um, I hope you love the palette as much as I do. Don't forget to comment below, subscribe to my channel, and last but not least, Strut and Slay.